Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. My name is Maritza, and for today's Exploring Women Artists video, we will be focusing on Kara Walker. Um, Kara Walker is an African American artist who was born in California in 1969. Um, she went to art school in Atlanta and then um, to the Rhode Island School of Design, which is a very prestigious art school in Rhode Island. Um, and she is still alive today. And the reason that I was interested in Kara Walker, the first minute I saw her work, is because she uses a lot of silhouettes or um, silhouettes are the, the dark shape and the outline of someone or something visible against a lighter background. So these are silhouettes. So the figures or the images are black against a white backdrop, which creates a really cool effect. Um, and she does this with paper, on paper, but she also does that um, with installations. So she will have a room, the walls are painted completely white, and she will use black cutouts, silhouettes, to create um, her scenes, which I think is really awesome. I would love to go to one of her installations. Um, and the um, themes of most of her her installations and her silhouettes and her scenes um, are slavery. So she um, comments a lot on slavery. She depicts forms of slavery um, and throughout her work um, she, she uses silhouettes to depict her characters um, being very violent with each other. Um, so a lot of her work makes the viewer sort of uncomfortable. Um, and Walker always says that her intent as an artist was never to create something pleasing. Um, she wanted, she didn't want to raise questions with easy answers. She wanted to use her silhouettes to, um, to make readers uncomfortable because the entire notion of slavery that's not something easy um, it's not something easy to look at or um, answer so she kind of wanted to um, use her artwork to explain that um, and she also says that her use of silhouette um, is because a silhouette says a lot about someone or something with very little information because you can only really see the outline, you don't see the face, you don't see what they look like, what they're wearing. So a silhouette says a lot with a little bit of information um, and she uses that because that's also what stereotypes do. So um, just by looking at someone um, and you don't really know anything about that person and you make assumptions um, and she uses the silhouette to critique um, stereotyping. So I think her work is really interesting. Not only does it look really cool, I, uh, I've always liked the way that silhouettes look, um, but it also uses silhouettes um, and violence to create these very um, unique and individual pieces. Um, so today um to um create something inspired by kara walker we're also going to be using um silhouettes um obviously we can't um set up a whole installation or in a room and cut out black figures but i thought it would be fun to um just get a blank piece of paper um and cut out uh, silhouettes and create an image or a scene using silhouettes. So I just want to take a look at a couple of her pictures first before I show you what I made um, inspired by Kara Walker. So as you can see up here, um, there are two people dancing and the silhouettes are very intricate. There's a lot of detail, um, people hanging up clothes to dry, um, here's a man and a woman um, at night, and here's a um, some sort of soldier holding up a shovel. Um, again, I picked these sort of the more PG 
um, examples of her work because again a lot of her work shows a lot of violence between her characters and I didn't necessarily want to show everyone that so these are some examples um, and for today's project we're gonna be doing silhouettes so I wanted to show you an example of mine so you guys get an idea of what we're doing um, so what I think is really cool is that it's very simple but you still get an idea of what's going on so I have no detail in this but you can see that it's a man talking to his dog um, and so I wanted everyone to be able to create a sort of scene like this using silhouettes. So what you're going to need is um, just a blank piece of white paper and some black construction paper. You're going to need scissors, glue, and um, possibly a pencil because what I did for my silhouette was I, on the, the black construction paper I drew the outline of what I wanted to draw and then cut it out. Um, so that I knew like the right proportions and how it would look. So I definitely suggest um, sketching something out, sketching the outline before cutting anything out. Um, and what I did, I knew that I wanted to do something with a dog. Um, my dog came and woke me up this morning, so I was inspired. Um, so I Google imaged like a man with his dog and I found a nice one and I drew the outline um, I drew the outline of the man freehand, but I used the image to um, create the outline and I didn't include any detail on his face, um, only the outline of the, the profile and the dog. So um, that's, what, that's how I drew it and then I took a scissor, cut it out, um, and then on a blank sheet of white paper, I glued these down in the um, the way I wanted them to be glued down. So for your own, you can definitely um, add more detail and Kara Walker's, she has trees and more background information that you can add, but I thought for this project it was um, simple, but it got the message across and I really like how it turned out. Um, so for your own silhouette um, drawings, it can be about anything you want. Again, it can be about a man and his dog. Um, it can be as more serious like Carol Walker's art, um, critiquing slavery and um, that, but it can be about whatever you want. It can be a scene from a movie or anything. Um, that you can come up with. Use your creativity to come up with something. Um, and then just outline it, cut it out, and glue it. And you'll get something that looks like this. Again, I'm really, um, I had a lot of fun making this and I think it turned out well. Um, so I hope you guys all try it out and I hope you share. You can use hashtag loveartsphereinc on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to share your work with us and tune in on Friday for the next Exploring Women Artists class. Thank you again for tuning in and everyone stay safe.